beautiful Gemini, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today, darling, I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So, Gemini, if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, darling, because that is how I keep up with y'all. As well, I just pet my cat. <laughs> I do this between every video, Gemini, and each time you think I learned my lesson, but she always just leaves her marker of cat fur. Um, but yeah, also, uh, if you do enjoy this reading today, Gemini, or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, and all of its cat hair gloriness, uh, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it, Gemini, when you take the extra step to do that for me. But remember, Gemini, remember to use your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, darling. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here, Gemini, to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, Gemini, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, let's jump in, into your reading today, Gemini. <laughs> so I want to see where you guys are currently at, how you guys are currently feeling, Gemini. And you guys got the giraffe spirit. I forget which zodiac sign actually got this recently, uh, Gemini, but you guys, it's number 29 equaling to 11 for numerology. So look that number up, Gemini. This is already, just in terms of numerology, a good week for you guys to be setting your intention. Gemini. Set your, start setting your intention on what it is that you're wanting to create, right? When you think about it, it's like making a wish on 1111, right? When you see that number, it's angel number as well. If you connect to archangels or guardian angels, Gemini, this is a good time to uh, reaffirm that connection with them and connecting with them. But uh, seeing the big picture is what the Gemini is, or rather what the giraffe spirit represents for you right now, Gemini. So in this dynamic, this is letting me know of where you're kind of What's the, it's, it's not, this is not the word I want to use, Gemini, but it's like you're taking account, you're assessing, there we go, darling, you're assessing the situation, or you're assessing your current situation now, you're really taking, I really do feel like you're taking in your environment, figuring out, Gemini, your next big move, so let's get some clarifiers on this, right, let's see how this progresses for you, Gemini. We have the Queen of Swords coming in here. So you're on the defense, Gemini. You're on the defense and you're in this place where, uh, I'm not sure, like, are you feeling threatened at this time? There's for some reason right now, uh, especially for, uh, no, I don't feel like it's back of the deck energy. Um, but with this Queen of Swords here, don't mind me, I'm like talking to myself. Uh, this lets me know someone that's like, usually it's not just without cause right uh gemini when the queen of swords steps forward so it leads me to wonder it's like something puts you on alert gemini so something caused you to be like all right i need to look at the situation deeper let's see here ace of wands in the reverse so you put your gears back on something yeah you've like stopped in your tracks and then the eight of cups in the reverse as well so something's like stopped you something stopped you in your tracks gemini is what i'm getting something stopped you in your tracks and i feel like you were perhaps leaving a situation because of the eight of cups right eight of cups normally when it's in the upright is a card of where you're transitioning you're moving on to bigger and better things hopefully right it's always just generally a card of just moving on but when this is in the reverse for you gemini this is leading me to believe where you're coming back to something or where you're resistant to um continuing moving on in this narrative so then when you have the ace of wands in the reverse as well this shows the same thing of where it's like you're initially feeling very motivated into delving into something new probably something you know just something better for yourself and so then when you have the queen of swords coming in here this is like you, you i'm taking i'm trying to take this in a more positive way gemini where it's like you're stopping assessing the situation excuse me i don't know if it's allergies or what but you're assessing the situation gemini and you're figuring out being like oh do i need to move on quite yet is this the situation that i need to move on from is this the proper time for it right and then the death card in the reverse yeah gemini you're getting such a there's like this impression for you right now where you're just like do i need to hold off on cutting this off do you need to hold off on 
reserving off from just moving on from something, I feel like moving on from trans some transition. It's almost as if like you got some sign of life in a situation that was dead or you thought was dead, Gemini. And so that's where you're kind of at. You're in this place of like assessing the situation and be like, well, do do I need to move on? Do I need to go from here? Where, where does this take you now, Gemini, All right? So uh, let's see how this journey progresses for you this week, right? Let's see what, what how this journey progresses. Can't hold on to these cards, Gemini. Let's see how these. Uh, <laughs> let's see how your storyline progresses, Gemini. Let's see. I say that, and I have more cards just flying out. But I don't feel like these are for you, Gemini. I feel like this is just me being a klutz. So we have number fifty-five, another repeating number for you, uh, Gemini. I don't know what it is about repeating numbers. Let me know if you've seen in. Uh, let me know in the comments, rather, Gemini, if you have been seeing repetitive numbers recently, because it's just interesting to see in this dynamic. I'm always someone that pays attention to numerology, just like the numbers and things. I've always just been that way, Gemini, and so this is like a first for me, at least in Zodiac reading format of having it be repetitive numbers coming in like this. So Snake Spirit, anyways, uh, time to heal. So it's interesting now, Gemini. So it's like you're in this place of pausing because you're just like, well, is this is this not too late? Is this something I could feed more energy into? You know, you're just in this place of, uh, you know, it's just like, what are we from here? What are we? You might be the question asking, right? What am like? What is the situation to me? What am I to the situation, right? Do I need to move on from jobs? Do I need to move on from people, darling? Right? These are the questions you could be asking yourself right now, Gemini. So let's dive in deeper. All right, Knight of Swords came flying out for you. So definitely, this is something going to be. I would probably say, Gemini, this is something that's going to come up at you kind of quickly and it's going to progress in quick succession where it's like, what I mean by this is where it's like, I don't feel like it's going to be like a slow drip, Gemini, of where it's like you're starting to get closure or, you know, maybe you, you start connecting, you know, it's just used for simplicity's sake of person, right? If you're just like, oh, do I need to not move on from this person? Like you may just get silence from like Monday all the way to like Friday. And then when Saturday and Sunday hit, that's when you get like a message. That's when like a conversation happens, healing happens. Like I feel like it all happens in quick succession like that. I don't feel like it's something that's going to be dragged out for long, uh, Gemini, which is a good thing, right? It's a good thing to have it in this dynamic, I would feel, right? You don't want it to just be bleeding out for however long it would bleed out for. You have the King of Swords. I'm noticing a theme here. You could be working with another air sign here or in a situation that's involving another air sign just because of all the sword cards coming in and swords represent air. Of course, Gemini. Um, but this also could just be a representation of just your energy, right? Because it, you being an air sign, King of Swords showing to me, it's a nice balance. I like to see it with the Knight because, you know, the Knight of Swords is the fastest moving, but it's also the easiest to be influenced mentally. So when you have the refinement of the King of Swords, Gemini, that's a positive affirmation where it's, at least to me, where I'm just like, all right, Gemini is going to be good this week. They're going to be handled, right? Even though you're pausing and you're assessing the situation as the giraffe spear and you're healing, you're in a good headspace during all of this, right? You're not in like a Queen of Cups in the reverse or you're like a King of Cups in the reverse, darling. Um, you're, you're in a good, you have a good mindset. You have a, you're, you know, with you assessing everything, you're oddly calm. And I mean that in the best way. So let's continue. We have the strength card coming in here. So this has been a long time coming. And I kind of was sensing this, Gemini. I've been not saying it. I don't like referencing too much of past readings, uh, Gemini. But if you've been uh, on this journey with me, of me reading your cards for a while, Gemini, I've been getting the sense of where you've constantly been dealing with some type of like situation with the person, holding out on a person, whatever. It's always been drama. So she, you've been having a lot of social dramas for a while, Gemini, and a lot of confusion in that drama um, and not knowing where you stand in that drama. And I feel like it's the strength card is signifying to me, Gemini, where it's finally coming to a fruition, coming to an end. So it's like, well, naturally, when you heal, you're going to be doing some shadow work, right? I always say the strength card is the shadow work card. So this is playing out beautifully for you, Gemini. Last card for this row. Seven of Wands in the reverse coming in here. All right. So 
Why the Seven of Wands, actually? Two of Cups. So this is where I was thinking in my head, Gemini. At first, I was taking the Seven of Wands energy here, and I was just like, all right, well, maybe at one point, because this gives me like an impression of where you thought at one point you had aggressive eyes on you or eyes that are like waiting for you to fall, waiting for you to fail, Gemini. And so then I was just like, okay, but what about this though? Why are we bringing this up? Right. And then Two of Cups comes in to really hone in on the message of where it's like a nice, a happy completion, uh, Gemini, a happy completion. So it shows to me by the end of this weekend, whatever this dynamic is, um, you get a happy turnout of whatever the results is through all this healing right you're you're not it's not one of those times where it's like you go through a lot of healing and it's just like by the end of that weekend of like rough healing where you're crying and sobbing all the time you just have like bags and you know you're not looking rough like you're not looking unkempt you're you you take you handle it well gemini so it shows to me like you're happy with the results of it right so let's see now, Gemini, how your future looks now. Let's see what your future looks like, Gemini. Let's take a look at good cards, though, don't you think, Gemini? Very good cards that you got. Probably one of your good best readings that you've had in a while with me, honey, right? So you have the Turtle Spirit coming in, 62 equaling to 8, Gemini. Um, Leo got this card as well. I don't know if you're working with a Leo or you're around a Leo or someone that has Leo in their chart. So slow and steady wins the race with this one, uh, Gemini. So remember what I was just saying before where I was like, I don't feel as if like, um, it's like, I don't feel like this is gonna be like a slow drip thing. I feel like it's going to be when it actually happens, Gemini, then it's gonna be like boom, 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 boom. So you may be a little bit impatient in regards to how things will pan out. You know, let's just say in this situation here, you have some healing that happens with like either a person or a job. You may want it to be back to normal or perfect and just set in this way because I just know how you are, Gemini, right? You have like a little bit of a control issue and just like having your hands and, you know, um, just going things, but like you see it in a way and you're like, well, why can't it go in that way? Nothing wrong with that, Gemini, at all. I'm not trying to fault you for that. It's just more so like a, you know, you, it's just like if you see something clearly, you want to just go from point A to point B like now, you know, it's just like, why wait? Um, but since other, other other energies are involved, I think you got to have to wait for things to settle out a little bit, darling. Practice a little bit more patience, Gemini. I know you've been patient for a long time now, honey, but a little bit more. Do a little bit more for me. So... We have the Two of Swords in the reverse here for you. So this is, by the end of this, you're going to know where you want to be going, I feel, like, at the very least. You it, you probably have been at a crossroads with a certain, this, this same situation, Gemini, for quite some time. You've been at this crossroads for, and just now, things are finally, like, in the long run, things are going to start making a lot more sense for you, Gemini, where, you know, I feel like this is even your card in this deck, <laughs> you know, it's kind of very much so a half and a half. I want to get a clarifier branching off from this Two of Swords, though. We have the Empress in, is this? No, Emperor, Emperor, the Emperor in the reverse for you now, Gemini. So this is definitely showing a situation of where you wanted something so badly, Gemini, but you're kind of for some situation that you were kind of forced to wait. You are forced to wait on the sidelines until you are called on, right? It's giving me very much so someone that really wants to... I don't know how sports work that much, <laughs> but like you're on the sidelines and then you're just like waiting for the coach to say your name to go in and say that you're in, right? You're just like, put me in coach, put me in uh, sort of thing. And it just wasn't turning out for a while. You've had to practice patience with this. And it's, but I don't, I hate, I hate that I use that analogy though. Cause I feel like this has been more than just like a time frame of like a game a sports game, right? I feel like this is one of those things, especially if this is involving a person, Gemini, this speaks on like how you want to go from point A with a person to point B immediately because you see how it can just go so clearly, but you need to have that transition process. Like you still need to have that transition process to get to point B and how that other person involved may not process things in the same way that you do, Gemini. And so I feel like during this time that you, this waiting period, Maybe there's been silence. Maybe there's just been like, it's just been, I feel like it's been for a while now. And I feel like you're gonna be soon gonna finally be like, finally. Like you're gonna feel like you're gonna finally be able to breathe with the situation, uh, Gemini. So let's get a couple more clarifiers, darling. 
We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, there's something that you've been having to just, it feels almost as if like you've been like suppressed in some way or like someone's been holding the reins on you, Gemini. Like there's been something that you've had to like um, pull back on entirely. And I don't feel like you wanted to do this at all. Like I don't feel like this was your choice and being like, all right, well, yes, I need to slow down. Um, the Page of Cups in the reverse as well. Now, Gemini, this is really hard to make this card a pessimistic just because the page of cups is probably like it's just such an emotional card um but this is really showing to me where it's like something that you had to develop the more depth to in a situation in your life whether it's a job whether it's a person something that you had to um how I want to say something that you really wanted to go the long call with right that you could see yourself doing for a long time right naturally when you see yourself being able to be part have this be part of your life for a long time you just want that to be your every day you don't want to go through that you know those growing pains that tough tough transitions sometimes and i feel like in terms of this connection this is something that you had to be really patient with that probably looked pretty hopeless for a while right there's probably been some fights there's probably been some bad blood there's probably been some tears definitely some tears um in the situation gemini and i know you want this badly you just have to wait it out a little bit longer but trust in the process right trust in the process all right now gemini so let's get into your social situations this week darling and when i say social situations this could be your romantic this could be platonic this could be your work life this could be you know family you know your situation gemini let's get into this you have the B spirit, sweet results await. So if you, this is, you know, if this is about your, your general portion was about your social situation, I feel like this is carrying over into this Gemini, right? With that patience that you're being asked to have for your future, sweet results await, right? Number seven for numerology, feeling lucky, darling, right? It's very interesting. Very interesting that this card comes in for your social situation. I really do feel like there's going to be a rekindling from the past uh, for you, Gemini. So let's get into this a little bit deeper, darling. Let's get some more cards. We have the, what is this? The Hanged Man in the Reverse for you. I'm going to just hold it upright, Gemini, so you can see the artwork of it. The Hanged Man in the Reverse. So you thought the situation was fruitless, right? You thought the situation was fruitless. You thought there was nothing more that you can do with this. And something gave you a sign, Gemini. Something gave you a sign where you're just like, oh, this is not over yet. There's still more life to give to this situation, right? You have the Ace of Cups. This is showing to me a positive message, of course. Obviously, your heart is opening up. This is a situation when it comes to like any tarot reader, when they see this card, they get overtly happy because it's like a sign of love. It's like you, your heart chakra filleth, runneth over, right? You can't be happier, during, especially during this time. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is really just paying off a situation, uh, Gemini, to me, chariot card in the reverse. Something that you thought you had to pull your pentacles out of, pull your investments out of, Gemini, you're coming back into. You're coming back into it and there's new life to it and it's coming back at you really quickly, Gemini. So whatever this social situation is that you've been like really pining for for a while now something that's probably ended i do feel like something's going to be getting rekindled for you um gemini so much so that i feel like i'm gonna even put it as your title of where it's like rekindling from a past because whether this is in terms of a job that you really wanted to have and it just didn't pan out on the way like it's just no matter how you put it especially like just from your general portion like if your social situation just more so is confirming for those people uh gemini that um something good is about to be coming back up for them but um yeah you and then just like it just seems like things are just work naturally working out for you now gemini which is again nice change of pace all right now gemini so let's get into finally your career this week what is going on for my gemini's financial and career this week what is in the works for my gemini's financial and career i am not taking all of those honey oh well, i guess i need to all right all right don't yell at me or don't yell at me <laughs> so uh okay Give me a moment, Gemini, because I don't anticipate this. Uh, so we have 63, 9 for numerology, the vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted, right? Positive, positive. Again, going back to, you know how I've been jumping back and forth for your career and social this entire reading, Gemini. It's not just because I'm wanting to just speak in all things. I feel like every, like a lot, like 
things that you've been pining for and i know you've been pining for them for a while gemini like you and like you had to be the only one cheering for you because someone everyone else is just like trying to call the time of death on things and you're just like no there's something here um it's not wasted gemini i want to point out vulture spirit there's about to be a theme here just from what i noticed before you have the eagle spirit 23 equaling to five for numerology spirit has your back the eagle spirit right avery coming in following you i don't know if you've been seeing signs of vultures or spirits or spirits vultures or eagles uh gemini but i really do feel like a sense of um i'm being shown oddly enough and it's a specific movie reference gemini let me know if you've watched it i can't even remember the name of the movie now of course but um the the premise of it, it's a popular movie. The premise of it is where it's like a red balloon um, following around and like, there's like a red balloon that foreshadows something bad's gonna happen or something spooky is about to happen in each part of this movie. I don't remember. I know it's not it. I know it's not it. I know many people are gonna think it's it, but it's not. It's like this child who sees dead people. It's a popular movie, y'all will know. Um, but I feel like those, the eagle spirit and the vulture spirit, both of those cards, if you start seeing those, either of those birds, that's when, I feel like that's going to be like the good omen of things about to be really coming, uh, good coming to you. And as I was saying that, antelope spirit number two, life is speeding up, Gemini. So things are really starting to start working out in your favor. I honestly don't feel like we need to get any more clarifiers in terms of your career, because I feel like it kind of sums everything up for you, Gemini. Practice patience at this time, right? Spirit has your back, darling. Remember, life is speeding up for you right now and nothing was wasted in your life. All this time, all this energy, all this investment that you did in situations is not wasted, whether it's in your social, whether it's in career, whatever it is, darling, it's looking good. You we, we, you, do, you did, get your words out, Valka. You did a good job in waiting this out. Um, so now, Gemini, let's close your reading off with a quote, a positive affirmation card. Let's see. My outer experiences are a reflection on my internal conditions. I love this card for you, Gemini, because this is showing, again, just a lot of like healing happening for you. I can't help but feel like whatever the situation is coming in that's going to be reigniting itself, rekindling itself from your past, Gemini, it's going to be insanely healing for your soul. Because I feel like so it's, something took a hard blow to you internally and had you really like in your feelings in like a deep way and not really feeling good and i feel like it's gonna you're gonna have reinvigorated life soon so my outer experiences are a reflection on my internal condition i love you so much gemini thank you so much for allowing me to provide this reading to you today if you enjoyed this reading my website is simplyvelka.com if you'd like to book a personal reading with me i have it linked down below along with my social medias tiktok instagram twitter all that is just simply Velka, Gemini. And yeah, I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. I love you so much, Gemini. Bye.